we like to periodically check in in the world <laughs> of uh, savings accounts yeah. to make sure we're getting the best rate. Yeah, uh, we'll t- we can talk about uh, what rate we're both getting. Absolutely. Um, but in this episode, we're going to be covering it in three key ways. Best base rate. Yep. So no gimmicks, no, no required spending, no deposits, just what is the best rate you're going to give me and then for leave nothing. me alone. Yep. Secondly, best honeymoon rates. These are only for if a short period for a of honeymoon. time. Uh, yes, okay. but not for wedding. No, uh, <laughs> these are only for a short period of time. Um, but when you're loved up a new, in a new relationship with a bank, they give so you for new customers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, come on. I was <laughs> extending the metaphor there. I thought, thought that worked. Uh, so that's the second one, best honeymoon rate. And we'll tell you how long they last. And then finally, if people are willing to jump through those hoops um, and, you know, deposit, spend um, the way that the bank requires, uh, what are the best overall rates? Mm. And the key takeaway we want to leave everyone with for this episode is if your savings account doesn't have a five in front of it, what it's are you time doing? to switch. Well, Ren, let's start with the first, which is best base rates, no minimum deposit, no required spending, no other gimmicks, no strings attached. This is if you just want a savings account that you can put money into, take it out and not have to worry about anything else to get the savings rate, then this is for you. So coming in at fifth place in Equal fifth, uh, Great Southern Bank, eSaver Flexi, and Move Online Saver paying 4.2%. Not bad. Not bad for a base sa- rate. Macquarie Savings Account, 4.75%, and ANZ Plus at 49 along with Unity Bank Money Max Account, also 49 And then finally, coming in top of the pops uh, at 5.1%, Australian Unity Freedom Saver, uh, 5.1%. Up to 50 grand. My big takeaway from these is ANZ coming to the party. You you don't often see the big four banks uh, in these charts. 4.9% is very impressive. Uh, And then I think the savings account that gets the most buzz is Macquarie. Yeah, well, they're very, they do a lot of out of home advertising and they really pride themselves on being able to. Offer that rate, 4.75, no strings attached. Yeah. yeah. They also offer it in their transaction account. I think, yeah. 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 Which no other bank is really doing. All right, let's move uh, to best honeymoon rates, the second category. Now, these are these are great for people who are willing to do the switch regularly. Yeah. Um, so which this- I'm going to put my hand up and say isn't me. No. But there is money on the table if you're willing to do it. So this is if you're a new customer... We have four in equal second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All on 5.35%. So we've got the uh, Bank of Melbourne Maxi Saver, Bank of South Australia Maxi Saver, and St. George Bank Maxi Saver, all offering 5.35% for the first three months. And then you've got Macquarie coming back in for the party at 535 for the first four months. But then the number one for new customers is Rabobank GISA account at 5.75 for the first four months. So here's something interesting while I've just, uh, while you've been going through that list. So you mentioned there that St. George Maxi Saver, Bank SA Maxi Saver, Bank of Melbourne Maxi Saver were all 5.35% for the first three months. Mm. And something just, tr- just, just the, the, the fact that they were all, Exactly the same terms and all called Maxi Saver. I was like, hold on, what's going on here? Uh, all three of those banks owned, owned by, by Westpac. Yeah. Um, it's just with so many things, it's the illusion of choice. You think you're banking with a non big four, and it's like, oh, you are actually banking with a big four. Mm. But interestingly, Westpac are willing to offer that introductory rate for their smaller subsidiary banks, but you don't see Westpac on this list at all in terms of good honeymoon rates. Mm. So it's just uh, like it, it's some insight into their corporate strategy, I guess, that they that, that people who are willing to switch are more likely to switch to the smaller banks because they think they're getting a better rate or yeah. something. This isn't for me, Ren. I'm just saying I'm not a honeymoon, I'm not a honeymoon rate chaser mm-hmm. because I think the A, the administration involved is not worth – okay, I don't think it's worth the additional – 0.2 of a percent mm-hmm. um, 
And I think that if you can meet some of the hurdles for the best overalls, then you're getting better rates anyway. Yeah, that, that's my big thing. Like the, the way that I've set up my banking is the jumping through hoops isn't onerous for me. Yeah. And so I am happy to go down that route. Mm. Um, and yeah, you're right. Like it's negligible, the difference. Yeah. 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 Now we're going to the, the category that all the banks stay up for, compete hard to, to achieve, which is the best overall Rates. Yeah, so these are the rates where you need to have a minimum deposit or a minimum spend. You often have to have a transaction account attached to it. Well, sorry, we should be clear. This is just an open category. Yeah. So except for the honeymoon rates, like this is like best ongoing rate you can find. It's just that everyone who places in this category has the hoops that has you're talking the hoops. about. Yeah. And the hoops are obviously designed for you to put as much money into the bank account as possible and then to also interact with the bank's uh, in multiple ways. So as I said, in transactions or whatever it may be. So let's start with number five, which is the Virgin Money Boost Saver plus Lock Saver. They're offering 5.35% if you deposit $1,000 and make five purchases every month. Nice. Coming in at number four is the AMP Saver account at 5.4%. Their monthly requirement is that you deposit at least $1,000. Nice. Coming in at number three is the ING Savings Maximizer plus the Orange Everyday Transaction Account. They're offering 5.5% if you deposit $1,000, make five transactions with the Everyday Account and grow your savings balance. Each month. Each month, yes. Coming in at equal second with ING is the Move Growth Saver, also at 5.5%. Uh, they ask that you deposit $200 and make no withdrawals each month. Oh, so that's a real saving account. <laughs> and then coming in at number one is the Me Bank Home Me Saver Plus Spend Me transaction account offering 5.55%. The monthly requirement is that you grow savings balance and deposit $2,000 into the Spend Me account. So multiple accounts there on the go, but 5.55% currently the best uh, rate anywhere in Australia for a savings account. A lot of these banks lose money on these savings accounts, but what they want is our spending account. They want us to move our banking over to them. Bryce, as yeah. we close out this episode, has this made you... Well, actually, first question. Does your savings account have a five in front of it? I've got the ING Savings Maximizer plus Orange Everyday Transaction Account. Um, so I do all my transactions through that and all of my savings uh, and also joint savings with Harriet go into ING. I'm the same. So I am uh, ING Savings Maximizer. We spoke about it on the show. I got my savings account sorted last year um, and that was big for me because I'd been a Dolomites Combank kid nice. from as early as I could remember. And um, I felt I was missing out on some of these top rates. Um, and so that's why I made the switch. Um, and it works for me. Mm. I do my transactions with the everyday account. I, so I don't find the hoops mm. onerous to jump through. 